Hi students, this is your Bashir sir. Welcome to Bashir Mass World channel. In this video, I am going to explain about Eklon Farm. Let's start. See here, Eklon Farm of a matrix. We have to know first two different points. A matrix is said to be a clone form. It has the following properties. First property is zero rows if any are below non-zero rows. So means zero rows always below non-zero rows. That is the first condition. Now second condition is the number of zeros before the first non-zero elements in a row less than number of such zeros in a row. So example for echelon form, A is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is a form of echelon form. Now let's go to the working rule for echelon form. How to procedure? So first one, we can apply only row operations. Row operations we have to apply. Second point is reduce the matrix to upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix only called echelon form. So third point, number of non-zero rows is called a rank of the matrix. Number of non-zero rows is called a rank of the matrix. So example one take, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 5, 0, 0, 0. Here, number of non-zero rows how many are? 1, 2. So that's why this is an echelon form. Number of non-zero rows is 2. So that's why rank A is equal to 2. Rank A symbolically you can write this is the form. So rank A is equal to 2. Let's go to the one problem. So find the rank of the matrix by echelon form. So take one example. A is equal to 5, 3, 14, 4, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, minus 1, 2, 0. Uh, we will go to solution. Given A is equal to 5, 3, 14, 4, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, minus 1, 2, 0. So, first we identify here principal diagonal elements. Principal diagonal elements. So, I drawn here clearly 5, 1, 2 are the principal diagonal elements. This principal diagonal elements below we have to do zeros here. This part we have to convert into zero. That's why already R2 is zero is there, no need to change. R3 operation we have to apply. R3 operation we have to apply. So R3 changes to 5R3 minus R1. So here clearly I mentioned here operation 5R3, 5R3 multiply 5 minus 5, 10, 0. R1, 5, 3, 14, minus 4. If you do subtraction, we will get answer 0, minus 8, minus 4, minus 4. So next matrix, we will get here this one. A, 5, 3, 14, 4, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 8, minus 4, 4. So here we get the two elements are zeros. That is the operation completed. Next to here, third row divided by minus 4, we do. R3 divided by minus 4, we get next matrix 2, uh, 2, 1, 1 came here. You see that. Next, uh, we have to do below principal diagonal, we have to do this one 0. 2 should be 0. So R3 minus 2 R2. So here I done here side clear calculation R3 0, 2, 1, 1, 2 R2, 0, 2, 4, 2. If you do subtract 0, 0, minus 3, 1, we will get next matrix 5, 3, 14, 4, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, minus 3, minus 1. So, see there here, principal diagonal elements, principal diagonal elements below, all zeros are then 1, 2, 3, 0, 0 is there. So, this is the upper triangular matrix and this is in Eklund form. Here, number of non-zero rows, how many are? 1, 2, 3. So, number of non-zero rows is here 3. So, that's why we can decide here rank of the matrix is 3. Let's go to the 
another problem we'll take one problem another more problem find the rank of the matrix by echelon form a is equal to this matrix given no? so given a is equal to first you have to draw the principal diagonal elements see there i drawn here 2 3 7 6 are the principal diagonal elements below elements we have to do zeros so that's why r2 already is a zero is there no need to change so r3 we have to change and r4 also change r3 operation r3 minus r1 r4 r4 minus r1 so here a is equal to so here clearly we done the operations check this here r3 minus r1 we get this elements r4 minus r1 we done this elements so we get this matrix so here see principal diagonal element this row this column here should be zero came correct now okay let's go to another operation principal diagonal elements so these elements we have to do zeros okay that's why operation r3 and r4 done so here clearly mention here outside this operation see there r3 r3 minus 4 r2 we get this element 0 0 minus 4 minus 1 subtract next operation is r4 minus 2 r2 we get this elements so these elements we get here in matrix next matrix this one so this is the principal diagonal elements so below elements are all zeros that's why it is called upper triangular matrix and also called this is in echelon form see there this is echelon form now so we can decide here check now number of non zeros how many are there 1 2 3 so number of non zeros 3 is there here fourth row is totally zero is there that's why we should not count so that's why number of non zero rows so we can decide here 3 so that's why rank of the matrix is 3 rank of the matrix is 3 okay so this is the one type of echelon forms so all of you understood no i think thank you so much everyone for watching this video if you understand please like subscribe and share to your friends if you have any doubt ask in comment box